Uh, hello colleagues, today I will be talking about pitch, yaw and roll uh, for, uh, for the system on the example of camera. So we just received uh, one more time a request, uh, is it possible to do with the system or not and if it's possible what is required and we decided no, let's, let's give a video explanation. So yes, it is possible to have not only uh, precise uh, location of your, for example, camera uh, or any other object, uh, but also pitch your and roll and very precise one. Uh, how it will work? Now, the recommended solution, uh, let me give an example of the camera when the camera is in the middle of, let's say, 20 by 20. So the distance between the station beacons is, for example, 20, 20, 20 meters. So a basic, simple 3D uh, submap. And somewhere in the middle, you have a camera. And the task is uh, to know the very precise angle, uh, and let's say 3D direction of the camera. Uh, how could it be done? Now, first of all, you would need to have uh, a few location points with the base uh, that would let you uh, to measure this direction. And the direction would be measured as the very precise measurement of the location of each of these points. And uh, so effectively, you would need to install three or more, in this case, three or four stationary beacons uh, around the camera inside the room or inside the area where you're shooting. And uh, on the camera, you would uh, need to install a uh, super beacon or if you super beacons uh, with the external microphones. It's possible Okay, I'm using a basic beacon hardware version 4.9, but since they look the same, uh, it would be the same. Why I'm, I'm suggesting to use the external microphone instead of the microphone on the super beacon is simply for the convenience. You could use the super beacon itself and remember that the location, because in this case the location would be measured with a very, very high precision, and it's very, very important that you would be measuring the location of the microphone, not, not the center of the sensor or not of some, you know, in the middle, uh, but the microphone. In this case, it's easy, simply again for practical purposes, to have an external microphone, like in this case. So you, you have a microphone installed on uh, whatever, on a small stick with the base from the camera. So you have a couple of things uh, to remember. Uh, one is that you need to have as large base as you can afford. Usually it's limited by your camera or by the size of your object. Second, they must be not, let's say, in the line because you need 3D angle, uh, pitch your roll. So it means that you cannot install them in one line. In this case, you wouldn't be able to measure, for example, uh, this position because in this case you would need to have a third third uh, microphone not on the line so they must be in volume they must be they must have a triangle and what happens uh, you would be able to measure in this perfect condition location of each of these point with plus minus roughly plus minus one centimeter or even better uh, because there is a trade-off between the location update rate and the accuracy. With high update rate, the noise and the precision of measurement would increase significantly, but the latency would increase significantly. So it means that for the static objects, you may have accuracy higher than one centimeter, plus minus one centimeter, but if you need movement and uh, uh, you want to minimize the latency, then it could be higher than plus minus, two, uh, plus minus one centimeter, like our regular plus minus two centimeters. Uh, so it means that the location of each of these microphone, external microphone, would be measured with, let's, uh, let's assume, plus minus one centimeter. And if you have uh, 50 centimeters base, which is typical for, let's say, small, medium-sized camera, uh, which you can afford, so in this case, you would be able to measure uh, this, with plus minus two degrees 
uh, accuracy. Overall accuracy of pitch your roll, it's a bit too complex to calculate because it depends on their relative position, is it triangle, what's the difference, uh, was there, uh, uh, let's say, not even ratio, but what's the relative position between this triangle of the microphones and the triangle of those, the, the mathematics would be extremely complex and not practical, not practical to use. This is why I'm giving just an idea of what kind of precision and accuracy you would be able to get. So in this case, you would be able to get plus minus two degrees, uh, but that's for worst case scenario when you have plus one centimeter inaccuracy in this microphone and minus one centimeter in this microphone. But that would be one of their angles, pitch your roll depending on where they are located, but you would have all three and all three will be uh, sensor fused with the IMU which is inside the beacon. So it meant that you would have not only uh, very, very, very precise in terms of measurement based on IMU or gyro gyroscope in this case inside, uh, but also these uh, microphones would eliminate the drift of the uh, gyroscope. Um, but the static, the maximum static drift you could expect is around this value. So for the base of 50 centimeters around two degrees for this particular angle. For other angles, no, it would be uh, corresponding uh, to, to, to this uh, maximum differences. Um, so answering uh, overall, yes, it is possible to have pitch your role uh, based on our system. That would require at least three uh, external microphones. And in order to connect the three external microphones, you have two options. No, first of all, you can connect to one super beacon. But in this case, this one super beacon would effectively receive three absolutely independent channels. So it means that if in general you would be able to measure up to 30 meters with three, you would, re uh, you would reduce the maximum distance to 10 because it would be 10 plus 10 plus 10 since three independent microphones. If size of your room, let's say the maximum distance between this and this, this and this, this and this is below 10 meters, then one super beacon and three external microphones would be sufficient for the system. If it's not and you have larger room, then you would need to have one super beacon per each uh, external microphone. As mentioned, you could use uh, their microphone of the super beacon, but in many cases simply inconvenient because uh, the external microphone, it's tiny, it's not obstructing other uh, microphones and you could put it anywhere, but the super beacon placed here, it's simply not so much convenient because you can uh, create their obstruction uh, undesirably and the shadow from this, for example, beacon to this beacon because there will be a frame that would be holding this beacon and the frame for uh, super beacons would be you know, larger than the frame for the microphone. So from a practical point of view, we suggest to use the external microphones, but you could use uh, a basic super beacons as well. Again, you have two options, either one super beacon with three external microphones, but in this case, the maximum distance would be below 10 meters or three uh, super beacons. But in this case, the maximum distance would be uh, uh, 30 meters. Um, now that's basically it because it's relatively simple, uh, simple configuration, uh, but rather special configuration in that regard that usually we either provide the location or location plus direction. But in this case, it's not only location plus direction, but 3D direction and uh, pretty uh, special arrangement in order to receive both uh, compensated by drift uh, direction and location at the same time. So um, ask questions like this. We are happy to help and explain the details. And uh, the very short answer to this one more time, yes, it's doable. Yes, it's uh, not so complex configuration after all. Thank you very much.